Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so my name is uh, Sister Lucy Kimaro. And uh, I belong to the International Grail Community, which was founded in, founded in Holland in 1921 by Father Jackis Baginken, a Jesuit. He was uh, teaching at Nijmegen University by then. And uh, at the moment, we are up in about 20 countries. Our charism is total love and sacrifice. And our mission, the courage to care in restoring human dignity through overcoming poverty, promotion of education, advocacy for social justice, and care for the planet. Our congregation promotes youth ministry in many ways, uh, establishment of schools, vocational training, catechesis in primary and secondary schools, evangelization through running bookstores, workshops, and seminars connected to small Christian communities. The training focuses on empowerment of youth, especially young women, through simple projects. One of the examples is our sisters are working with the Maasai women and the youth in, in different areas. There are those who are working on the area of education, and others are working on the area of projects, small projects. Special services and training to vulnerable youth and women have always been our priority. The aim is to empower young women, work for their own health, and also raise health families. This entails spiritual, physical, social, and economic development. Uh, this is another, another uh, activity where, uh, where our sisters work with uh, women and youth in, in gardens to, to be able to help the, the young people uh, grow vegetables. The Maasai culture is the reason for women oppression. Women may work hard taking care of children, animals, building houses, etc. But normally what they do is not very much respected by the rest of the, so the society. Vegetable gardening is a project that empowers women economically. They use the money to buy other essential needs and be self-reliant. This is another activity of the same group. Self-employment transforms women. It is a, a way of changing the culture that oppress women. 50%, for example, of a congregation survey, say, uh, the members say that the option for the poor and the transformation of the lives of vulnerable women is a priority. Creating a self-confidence and self-reliant young women will influence the society and it transform the present and future life of vulnerable youth, especially the ones now we are dealing with, the Maasai young women. Due to climate change and drought, many pastoralist families have become poor. One family I visited with students for community service two years ago uh, lost about 400 cows. We had taken relief food to some families that are often stricken by famine. And most of the time, those who suffer more are women and children. So having an alternative source of food is important for their own consumption and also for selling. One of the results of our survey, in one of the results of our survey, it's showing that uh, 50 percent, 0.3% of those who answered this question, uh, they value practice, they, val they, they value the principle, and, uh, and they also believe that it is important, this ministry is very important, the ministry of taking care of 
the poor. Youth project, the training and the establishment of youth project. The project is for sustainable development. Youth ability to contribute makes them feel more human and less vulnerable for integral development. The training involves counseling, remedial tutoring due to the abuse in families and community, especially for young women who are married off while they are very, very young. The change takes place when the oppressed refuse to internalize what the oppressor thinks, believes, and dictates. So here, it means that if someone knows exactly where he's supposed to change because of the oppression, that will help the person to change also, uh, to change the life, is her own life, and also change the life of others. One of the congregation ministry uh, is to run a center where the girls who are in primary and secondary school call home. This center gives the girls security, not to be circumcised, and also not to be forced to early marriages. This is a social change that religious communities are challenged to promote and initiate, standing against the system that creates poor classes of people. That is actually the aim of many religious congregations, including ourselves. We are challenged to think about the meaning of our presence in the society and initiate positive changes in the lives of vulnerable and marginalized youth. My partner ministry uh, is St. Teresa of uh, Avila Secondary School. In that school, uh, the aim was, is to nurture youth in schools, to live the gospel values, to help them learn to love, care, and respect the others. Some girls in our school are from Maasai community. Those rescued from genital mutilation and early marriages. When these students mix with others, they are able to see their dreams clearly. So they make efforts to fulfill those dreams right from the school. They hope, dream, and have a sense of dignity. The vulnerable and oppressed are able to work with more confidence for their liberation and the liberation of others. So this is a, a, a photo that was taken from St. Teresa of Avila Secondary School. And some, some of the students here, uh, these are from two students. Uh, so the school has many, has actually more than 400 students. So this is just an example. St. Teresa of Avila Secondary School is in Mwanga, Tanzania. The vision is to train for transformation and quality education. The mission is to liberate and empower girls child through education. It is the belief that when one, is, when one girl is educated, the whole society will benefit. So as I said, it's, the school has about 169 students from different parts of Tanzania and also from some neighboring countries. Ministry strength. The achievement of the girl after school, which gives courage and hope for the people working in the ministry, because priority is given to academic excellence. This is supported by management and all the workers in school. Some have completed their university education. They are working to bring awareness in their own communities to promote the dignity of young women in their own villages and communities. Commitment to ensure that everyone in the school works focusing on the mission, vision, and promotion of values leading to holistic formation. Uh, it is expected to get financial support 
from partner organizations and those who there are some those who sponsor some of these vulnerable students ministry challenges girls who dropped out of school due to long period of staying home during the pandemic some of these girls were married off it was difficult to trace where they were married and even some were already pregnant weak educational system does not have mechanism in place for girls security these girls had their dreams cut short could be very 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 useful in the society of the future even the society of today migration of families also is another challenge because majority of these people are pastoralists so they they just move with the animals from one place to another to look for pasture so it is hard to trace them especially those now that were married off students lack spirit of perseverance also that is also another challenge <clears throat> opportunities scholarship and commitment of sponsors uh, uh, involvement of parents and other members of the community certified and well-trained staff student skill advancement and employment entrepreneurship and self-reliance my partner ministry is committed to promote the integral development of the youth in terms of their spiritual social economic and psychological psychological growth this helps the youth to avoid situations leading to trauma the activities in school like gardening animal keeping school shop sports just to mention a few help the youth to learn some skills outside of classroom work which is also very important for them to be psychologically stable the youth in economic activities out traditional cycle of animal rearing even when they go home they carry with them the skills they got from the school they have a chance to get their own money it is also uh, the best way for the girls to avoid trauma caused by abusive culture. Cultural mentality threat. Cultural mentality of looking down on women. That is very common in that society. Payment of the bride price of the baby girl. Mothers have no voice. Sometimes the girl is just, you know, the bride price is, is taken even when the girl is, is at the age of five. So one thing to continue with FGM is also a, a, a threat and also the spread of pandemic. Uh, advice for the youth. Strong educational uh, foundation is crucial. This is to help them to see clearly where they want to reach. Seeking an intervention from the divine power, seeking uh, the, the guidance of the Holy Spirit, is also very very important use effective uh, ways of communication or communicating with the youth including counseling to help them focus on what brightens their future and avoid much stress which increases their vulnerability also to help the families of the youth to reduce the family stress and to focus on integral human development so to help the youth to adapt these strategies that will help them to manage stress and anxiety to build relationship with parents extended families members of the church some youth uh, with special gifts of um, attracting others and also uh, establishing partnership with some other youth from different places the strategic plan to 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 bring more uh, help help to young women uh, was it was a plan of five years between 20, 2021 and 2026 and uh, the first year 
uh, the aim was to reach more girls, recruit more staff members, and add the dormitory and classrooms. Uh, because now, because the dormitories uh, were not that much uh, enough. Increase the number of girls up to 70 and 10 teachers provided uh, to provide stronger curriculum for Catholic social teaching. Uh, that is the that's where we are aiming for 2023 partnership with other education institutions uh, at least to be able to have 40 girls who will excuse me who will start the training and then also increase the number of girls in training up to 90 percent to raise the awareness for gender gender equity and also create opportunity for home visit Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much. That is the end of my presentation. <laughs>